Hello and welcome to today's yoga sequence. Today's sequence will be done all from a kneeling position or a tabletop as I call it. If you need to, you can get a towel to help support your knees. This will take some of the pressure off of your knees. Since I'm doing this on a harder floor, I'll be putting the towel underneath my knees as well throughout the flow. But to start off, let's put the towel in the middle of the mat. You can fold it up a couple times for additional cushioning if you need to. Let's put the towel in the middle and we're gonna come into what I call tabletop pose. So tabletop pose is a very basic pose that um, we use a lot in yoga and we're gonna be using this through a lot of different flows that we do. To come into tabletop, make sure your knees are directly underneath your hips. So your knees should be about hip width apart. Your hands should be underneath your shoulders. So your wrists should line up with your elbows, which should also line up with your shoulders. So this first pose that we're going to do is called owl pose. Owl pose is a wonderful pose to help open up any tension or tightness that you might feel in your forearms. So let's lift your left hand. Rotate your left hand at the fingertips, at the wrist, so that your fingertips face toward the back of the room. If this feels uncomfortable for you, if this is too much pull in that left arm, you can rotate your fingers just so that they're facing the side of the room. If you have those fingertips completely rotated around to the back of the room and it feels comfortable, you can lean back slightly. This is going to put a little bit more tension and tightness into those forearms, but it's also going to extend those muscles just a little bit more. Or you can lean forward. That's gonna take some of that tension off as well. Take a deep inhale. As you come back, let's lift that left hand at the wrist, rotate it at the wrist, because that's gonna bring some energy back into your hands. Place your hand back on the mat, and we're gonna go into a movement called under the bed pose. Let's lift that left hand again. Reach your left hand through this opening that you have between your right arm and your right leg, and reach for the opposite side of the room, resting your right hand on the mat next to your head. The left side of your face is resting on the mat, and that left arm is reaching all the way through. So you've got a little bit of an inversion here. Your head is below your heart. You have a little bit of a twist in your spine. So if you have a tight lower back, this is a wonderful pose to do to release tension that you're feeling in your spine, in your lower back, or just any general tightness that you're feeling overall. Continuing to breathe, nice deep inhales, nice full exhales. Let's put some pressure on that right arm, start to lift yourself back up into tabletop pose. From here, we're gonna go into cat-cow pose. Take a deep inhale. Let's lift your tailbone up to the sky, drop your belly down, shoulders come back and down, looking up as we come into cow pose. Now let's drop those shoulders down, lift your tailbone, tuck your tailbone under, lift your spine, tuck your tailbone under, coming into cat pose. Inhale, let's come back into cow, tailbone goes up, shoulders back and down. Exhale, tuck that tailbone under, coming back into cat pose. Inhale, coming into cow. Exhale, coming into cat. One more time in each direction. Inhale, coming into cow. And exhale, coming into cat. Okay, let's bring ourselves back into tabletop with a flat back. Bring your knees out to the side of the mat let the tips of your toes, your big toes, touch each other. And then shift your weight all the way back, coming down into child's pose. Extend your arms out in front of you. We're gonna go through a nice gentle flow. I call this snake flow. It's a nice way to get your heart rate going. Not too much, not like a sun salutation, but it gets your heart rate going and stretches out and lengthens all of the muscles in your back. Take a deep inhale, coming up into tabletop pose. Now you might need to readjust your knees and your feet, and that's fine. Let yourself come all the way down onto the mat. Bring the palms of your hands next to your chest. Tuck your elbows in, bring your shoulders back and down. Deep inhale, just lift yourself up slightly. The tops of your thighs should still be on the mat as you come into cobra pose. Exhale, lower yourself back down. Inhale, press yourself back up, passing through tabletop, and then shift your weight back, coming back into child pose. If you're off of your towel by now, that's okay. We can reposition ourselves before the next series of poses to come back onto our towels again. Coming into child pose. So we're gonna do that just a little bit faster. We're gonna speed up this flow just a little bit, but we're still going to move nice and slowly to keep our, bullet, our heart rate down and to keep our bodies relaxed. Inhale, coming up into tabletop. Exhale, lowering yourself all the way down to the mat. Position those hands, elbows, shoulders, deep inhale. 
press those hands into the mat, coming up into cobra pose. Exhale, lowering yourself back down. Inhale, pass through tabletop. Exhale, shift your weight back, coming into child pose. Inhale, coming up into tabletop. Exhale, lowering yourself back down. Position those hands, elbows, shoulders, deep inhale, coming up into cobra. Exhale, lowering yourself back down. Inhale, press yourself up through tabletop. Shift that weight all the way back to your heels, coming into child's pose. We're gonna do this one more time. Inhale, coming up into tabletop. Exhale, lowering yourself down. Inhale, coming up into cobra. Exhale, lowering yourself back down. Inhale, lifting up through tabletop. Exhale, shifting your weight all the way back into child's pose and let yourself relax just for a moment. Inhale, coming up into tabletop. Now you can reposition yourself so that your knees come back onto this mat, onto your towel. Now I'm gonna switch to the other side. You can stay where you are, but I'm gonna switch to the other side so you can continue to see these poses from this variation. And we're gonna do everything on the right hand side that we just did. So we're gonna start with owl pose. Let's take your right hand, lift your right hand up at the mat, rotate it at the wrist, and rotate those fingers so that they face toward the back of the room. Now I know that the majority of us are right-handed, so you might not be able to rotate that hand all the way around, and that's perfectly fine. You can bring those fingertips out to the side just a little bit and work to building, work to building up to rotating those hands all the way around. Continuing to breathe. Deep inhale as you exhale. Let's take that hand and rotate it at the wrist, bringing energy back into your hand. Place both hands back on the mat. Let's take that right hand as you inhale and exhale. Reach it through that big opening, reaching for the opposite side of the room, coming into under the bed pose on the right hand side. I call this under the bed pose because this is exactly what you look like when you're looking for your lost sock underneath your bed. Continuing to breathe, feeling this nice stretch in your shoulder blades, maybe in the top of your arm, into your lower back. Nice deep inhale. As you exhale, let's come back into tabletop pose and let's go into cat cow once again. Inhale, lift your tailbone up, shoulders go up, looking up to the sky, exhale. Curl your shoulders under, tuck that tailbone under, coming into cat. Inhale, come back into cow pose. Exhale, coming back into cat pose. Inhale, coming into cow. Exhale, cat pose. We'll do this one more time. Inhale, lifting that tailbone up, coming into cow. And exhale, curling under, coming into cat. Inhale, let's come to a flat back. Bring those knees out to the side of the mat one more time. Big toes together, shift your weight all the way back, coming into child's pose. Now we're gonna do a few variations on child's pose so that you can feel what it feels like. Extend your arms all the way out in front of you. Rest your forehead on the mat. Extend those arms all the way out and try to walk your fingertips toward the front of the mat. Feel this nice stretch in your shoulders. Continuing to breathe, nice deep inhale. As you exhale, start to walk your hands to the left-hand side. You might need to lift your head slightly, but walk your hands toward the left-hand side of the mat. Feel this nice stretch along the right-hand side of your body. Inhale, coming back to center, and then let's walk those hands across to the opposite side. Continuing to breathe, resting your head on the mat once your hands are in their position, feeling this nice stretch along the left-hand side of your body. Let's walk those fingertips back to center. Now rotate your wrists so that the palms of your hands face each other. Touch the palms of your hands together, bend your elbows, and then bring the, your hands to the small of your neck. Maybe your thumbs taste, touch the back of your neck. Feel this nice stretch in your triceps, maybe a little bit into your shoulder blades. Nice deep inhale, exhale. Extend your arms straight out again. Now. Bring your arms around to the small of your back, bending your elbows, resting your forearms on the small of your back, grasping the opposite elbow with the opposite hand. See how this feels. If you like this, stay here. If you don't, then bring your hands just next to your face, resting your forearms on the mat. This is another nice, comfortable variation of child's pose. Now that you've tried all of these variations, bring yourself into the posture that feels best for you, the variation that you like the most, the one that brought you the most happiness. And let yourself relax in that variation of child pose.
child's pose is a very relaxing pose. It's one that helps, first of all, to open up your hips and your lower back. Also helps to strengthen you and stretch out your arms, whichever variation you've taken on your arms. But it's also really relaxing. It helps to quiet your mind, helps to reduce your anxiety, your stress. It helps to block out the outside world and helps you to focus on the present moment. Continuing to breathe. Take a nice deep inhale. When you inhale again, lift up into tabletop pose. Let's swing those legs around. Let's come back into a seated position, sitting nice and comfortably. Let's bring the palms of your hands together. Fingertips to heart center, close your eyes. Feel your heartbeat. Notice your breath. Notice the sounds of the world around you. Here in the present moment, be focused. Slowly open your eyes. Let's take a deep inhale. And let's end this yoga session with our Sanskrit greeting of Namaste. Let's bring our fingertips to our forehead, bow to one another, Namaste.